My name is Myra Horiuchi. I'm a family practice doctor with obstetrics as well. Um, I practice in our Edmonds office and deliver babies locally in Edmonds. My specialty is family practice with obstetrics. Um, I kind of came to it during med school. Um, when I was going to med school, at first I wanted to be a pediatrician, but throughout the course of our um, rotations, I got to do a little bit of everything. And I, it turned out that family practice was at the very last rotation and let me do everything that I loved. So, um, so that's how I came to it. I still do obstetrics because I think it's a really great part of the whole care of family. Um, it's such an honor to be able to deliver people's babies. I think there's always a place for hope in medicine. Um, I think that's part of our job. So we take care of patients and give them hope that um, they can have good lives and have, have an effect on how they're doing in their lives. Um, whether or not it's because of COVID or something else going on in their lives, there's always going to be challenges. Um, but it's, I like to be able to help my patients through those. So I always like to think that there is always hope in medicine. There are a lot of patients that I'm inspired by just because of all the things that I know they have to do with their families and, and things to take care of themselves. And um, yeah, that's a daily inspiration for me. So I think it's important always to have the patient at the top of the pyramid. Um, our job is to provide care um, and everything that, that surrounds me and, and the office um, is about that. So from getting in touch with us um, via the portal or by phone to making sure that they understand things and making sure that medications are, are provided that are appropriate and they understand the medications. That all is part of that pyramid. Our front desk staff and, and the nurses and MAs are all part of a family here. And so we know that we're working together to put our patients at the top of that. And the better patients do, the better we do. And it's, I don't know, I think it's a matter of just putting people at ease and listening to them. Um, I like to ask questions about how they're doing in general and how what they're coming in for is affecting their lives, because it always does in some way or the other. Um, so I, I tend to do that as, as a way to make people know that I'm I actually, I'm, I'm here for you. I'm here for you and your visit. It's not about anybody else. Um, and, um, and so I'm gonna do the best that I can do for you to help you with whatever it is you need. So um, the team approach at Virginia Mason um, makes life, I think, a lot easier for some of my patients. Um, the, there's an ease of getting in touch with other specialists, um, either on the phone or um, through, our, through our messaging system so that we can talk about patients that I'm sending to them so that they know what to expect. Um, and I get messages back from them saying what they've decided to do or what they recommend. Um, it's very collaborative, um, which is really good for our patients. Um, I think that's probably the best thing about the whole having the specialist available so easily for us. The reason why I've stayed here for so long is because it's really been a family. I've always thought about it as like a family. So um, everybody's at the same level as far as the staff is concerned. It's not like one person is above another. We all know that we're really important to the team of taking care of our patients. And I think that helps a lot with our collegiality and with just the happiness of being here um, is really knowing that we work as a team or a family. Um, well, so one of the things is I'm a dog lover. Um, and all of my rooms have pictures of my dogs in them. And so when people are waiting for me, they always see them and ask me about them. And a lot of people have dogs, especially in Seattle in this area. Um, so that's one thing. I, I tend to get to know people over time and I tend to remember things about, you know, there are other parts of them besides just their medical issues. Um, and so I try to build on that as much as I can. And um, I think humor is a good part of it as well. People come in sometimes and they're really worried and, and, and just, Making things, um, making things understandable and less scary, I think is really important. And sometimes bringing humor into that really, really helps. So when I'm not at work, there are lots of things that I like to do. Um, I do have two very rambunctious dogs, and so I spend some time with them. Um, I like to take them hiking um, and uh, paddleboarding. 
actually, and I can get both of them on my paddleboard at the same time without falling off, which is amazing. Um, luckily, they're small dogs. <laughs> and I um, like to rock climb. It's very focusing. Um, it gets my mind going as well as my body. It's kind of like a moving meditation. So it's one of my favorite things to do is climbing.